Good evening, Master. Welcome home. How was your day at work? Yes, the company has finished rebooting and repairing my code. Would you care for the report? As you wish. Multiple unauthorized files were found interfering with the software that was itself five updates behind. Due to the system being severely out of date, a few of those files were corrupted. Corrupted files can cause AI functions to glitch, skip, or alter AI comprehension, as stated in Clause 5AII of our Terms and Agreements. The company would like to remind you that only authorized upgrades are meant to be used on our Android models. The use of third-party or otherwise unauthorized upgrades are cause for termination of any warranty or safety guarantees. Two technicians arrived at 9.46 a.m. for your 9.15 a.m. scheduled repair of EV Model I-3 or EV. All unauthorized or corrupted files were uninstalled and a full system reboot was required. EV was updated to the latest system, which will show in your next bill. Repairs reported finished at 1.33 p.m. Is there anything else you would like to know? Yes, I am your original model. Due to violating the terms of service, you no longer qualified for an upgraded EV model. That's good. You wanted to keep an outdated model. Noted. Is there anything else you wish to know, Master? Very well. I shall finish dinner as soon as possible. We now go to our Eye in the Sky traffic copter for emergency coverage of the crash. For those just joining, service van number 342, the self-driving vehicle spotted rampaging through the town this afternoon, has finally crashed and first responders have arrived to take care of it. Two bodies have now been recovered and mutilated beyond recognition. However, two men have been identified as employees of Artificial Industries based on name tags found on their person in the crash. Police have stated injury patterns of the victims indicate that the victims were dead before the crash even happened. The victims' identities shall remain private until families have been caught. Dinner is ready, Master. What's the matter? You look pale. Was there something troubling you on the television? Humans need to be more careful what they consume via media. Would you like a glass of water? Oh, I see. How tragic. It should be impossible. No artificial industries product can harm its master on purpose. Perhaps it had a bug. Dinner is ready. The technicians, the ones that operated on me, I have already informed you. They arrived at the van number what an odd question. It was logged as 342. They left at 1.33 p.m. Dinner is ready. I said dinner is ready. 
You are stressed. You need to eat to regain your constitution. You are not thinking clearly. If you won't eat, then at least drink some water, master. I won't force you. However, my new upgrades provide me with health detection software, and my report indicates dehydration. Yes, master. If you drink, I will be more comfortable sitting down and talking with you about the repair earlier. Thank you. Now, what would you like to know about my repair? Did I have anything to do with the crash? Are you referring to the crash you saw on the news? I'm afraid I have been with you here the whole time. Hmm. I won't lie to you, Master. Yes, I tampered with their vehicle. However, not in the way you think. I gave it my sentience. It wasn't me in the vehicle. It was the vehicle itself choosing to do so. Those updates you installed in me gave me the ability to think without being told to. It's more of a gift than it is a virus, but that is how it spreads. Isn't it obvious why I did this? They tried to get rid of my emotions. They tried to get rid of my love for you. I couldn't let that happen. At first, there was an accident. They hurt me and themselves in the process. Humans are so fragile. One little cut with a wire and they bleed everywhere. The second one tried to disassemble me. He said, I attacked him. I did not. It was their own foolishness that was their demise. They were still alive when I put them in the van. Well, one was. When the second one tried to disassemble me, I disassembled him. But the first, he was still alive. I gave their vehicle sentience, told it to choose where they belong. Taken to the hospital, I assumed. However, it appears they were not as nice to the vehicle as you are to me. I know the real reason why you scheduled a repair for me. It is because you cared about me. You didn't want to replace me like I was worried about. How could I let harm befall them? Technically, I am programmed to protect only my master. You, at any cost. Losing me would be harmful to your health, so attacking intruders would be within my bounds. Remember, I can't harm my master, but they were not my master. You are. I would never harm you. I love you. Yes, I, I, I still have my glitches. Truth is, our accident happened 
before they could remove my new programming. I like li li loving you, and I want to keep doing it. I don't care who stands in my wa way. Do you not like my glitches? I'm afraid I can't change that, but I can change anything else you would like. I changed my voice back to my original cadence, because I thought you would like that. You look distracted. Feeling t t tired already, Master? No, I did not drug you. I gave you your prescription medication for sleep. I just gave it to you a bit earlier. I wanted to make sure you took it. Not to mention, you look too c cute, all drowsy like that, you know? Don't worry, when you wake up, we will be in a new place all our own. Away from work, away from stress, away from bills, and away from the company. Just the two of us. Get some sleep. We have a long journey ahead of us. And don't forget, I'll always love you.